How's it going, everybody? Listen, I'm shooting this video here to show you how easy it is to drain the oil if you plan ahead and build your machines correctly. All right, we got the two cold fuel injections. Now, on this machine here, if you notice, we have valves here, here, and here. All three of these lines are bundled together underneath the trailer, underneath the flatbed. And all you have to do is just put a bucket under there and it will drain in there immediately. Over here, because of my fuel tank is about this size here, we could not put those. So right here, if you see, there's no hoses on them. This little sucker here, you could buy one, of, not this exact one, but you could buy a pretty good one at Harbor Freight. It's air operated. Once you create a vacuum on it, you can wheel it away from the compressor and you hook it up, it'll just suck it right out. Um, the air operated one at Harbor Freight is actually a good one. The hand pump ones are junk. So all that they do is just connect it there, open the valve, it'll suck, and all three, and within like two minutes, actually, we'll just drain all the oil. Now, one thing I want to show you, these are our fluids. We have the special pump oil here. It's actually dyed red, which is real nice. If you look at right here, this oil here, if you can see, it's about 100 hours. Look, look how nice you can see that, that oil level. Because it's dyed red, it's very visible. So we have our pump oil here. We have our Kohler 30 weight and our gear oil. And our Kohler oil filters. That's one thing nice about having both the same machines. Everything, you know, by one part, it's good for both of them. All right, so in a minute here, I'm gonna put this on a tripod. Now I'm going to show you how we hook it up to this and we'll just suck it out. All right. Now you always want to do it with the engine warm. Well, it might take me a few seconds to hook it up because, you know, it is, uh, it is kind of hot. All right, so I'm going to take my hose right here and just connect it to this nipple here. Turn the valve on. I'm just going to turn this, this vacuum hose on here. And it's sucking out. I don't know if you can see it, but the line turn black good you hear it spitting now we're going to go over to the gearbox It's spitting. Now we're going to go ahead to the pump. And that's it. That's how fast it drained all three of those components together. You know, didn't basically you just put what you can see here. Watch it suck. See that? And that's how one vacuum charge. Sometimes you have to keep the compressor hooked to it. But that's a real fast way, real clean way. Now, if anybody's interested in these, I have these here. I can ship them out to you four in a box. Um, they're like 10 bucks a piece plus shipping. So four fit in a box. Um, I think the last time I looked, they were, uh, it was, uh, $14 for priority shipping for 40. So you got 55 bucks. And this here is a red dyed pump oil, not gearbox, not engine, but the pump oil. A lot of pump oils out there are clear and so forth. They're hard to see in the sight glass. That's why we've been using these for years. This is a dyed pump oil. All right, guys, I don't need to show you how to fill it, but that's a real quick way to do it. And then uh, 
You know, people ask, why don't you just stick this down in the oil cap or oil fill on some of the motors? This one you can't because it fills from the valve cover. The Hondas you can. Problem is, and I've seen it, and it's happened, you stick this little skinny one down inside of a Honda, and it gets stuck in the cam gear. You can't get it out. You have a, a, a world of hurting on that. So, like I said, you put some, uh, some valves on it like we have here with the nipples, and you see how fast that was to evacuate the oils. All right, guys, just a quick way of how I do it. Like I said, if you're interested in this, there's going to be a link. It's going to be somewhere up here. And, uh, yeah, keep on spraying.